and what he did very well was stick to a game plan. A little bit too much at the end because, you know, he didn't really... He could have upped it a little bit in the last couple of rounds, maybe, but he stuck to a game plan. He was very disciplined. I think he showed a lot of good qualities in, in defeat. He started shouting tonight. Well, his opponent here, Ganga Bailey, has been stopped three times inside the distance. Good shot. And he's smaller and he's looking as though the power of Skeet could put him in trouble very early here. It was the jab of Skeet, the real, I tell you what, the jab of Skeet tonight so far, unbelievable. Well, he bust up his nose with the jab and put him down with a right hook to the rib cage. This is going to be a quick stoppage. He's knocked him off his feet there with that right hand. He was stopped last May by Timo Svarskov for the vacant EBU light welterweight title here for the European welterweight title as recognised by the WBO. He's found it too far and he ain't going to get up and Bradley Skeet in the first Let's round watch again. It was a jab which did the damage to the head. There's the right hand which put him down but he'd already been caught by a ramrod left lead. Yeah, the, the jab, I think that, that first jab that hit him and put him down, that was the... I think that was done all the problem. I wouldn't surprise if he's broken his nose. And he sat down a little bit disconsolately and just shook his head to the referee as the count was made, as much as to say, no, thank you, I don't want any more of that. And Bradley has done a number on him. He didn't, he didn't mess around, did he? He had a point to prove. He probably felt tonight and uh, he did it.